What's going on everybody? So y'all read the title, saw the thumbnail, and we're gonna be using my truck for a gender reveal today. My buddy Botello was supposed to do it with his dumb truck, the guy that has the dual revolution blue lights on, but his truck's in the shop getting some custom work done with Alex. And let me tell y'all, what he's doing to the truck is just sick. So hopefully when they're done with, with his truck, I can do a video of it and show you guys what they're doing. But yeah, we'll be using my truck for that. Not the best looking, I wish it was nice as his, but we'll get it done though. In the meantime, I want to show you guys what happened yesterday with the low boy. I was moving a small excavator, a John Deere, and I came back here to check yesterday when I got to the delivery address, and it was this airbag that was leaking. So I have to go to my cousin's shop, BI Truck Parts. He's the only one open today on a Sunday that I know of. But as you can see, the bag was already worn out pretty bad. It's even cracked right here. But it was leaking from somewhere down here. I didn't record yesterday when I took it off because it was already dark. It was like 8 p.m., 7 or 8 p.m. So I was out here with my phone's flashlight taking it off. I just wanted it to be off. And I'm going to take this with me, buy the airbag, buy these new uh, bolts. Also, that truck is across the street with the welder. He already mounted the toolbox on the back of the truck where the batteries are going to go in for the storage compartment. And there's still some finishing touches that has to be done to it. Then I have to take it to the paint shop, bring it back, install it on the truck so we can run the batteries and everything. And then I'll take the truck back to the paint shop, get the fenders painted, polished out and waxed, whatever he's going to do to the paint. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. That, that came out awesome. It came out very good. I got the idea from uh, this guy I follow on Instagram, Cordero Trucking from California. I'm going to post some of his truck uh, pictures right now so you guys can see them. Yeah, so that's where I got the idea from. Those trucks are clean. That guy does some pretty cool stuff with his rigs, and that's where I got the idea from. I sent him a message, told him, hey, can you send me some closer-up pictures because I want to do something similar, and he did. So big shout-out to them, Cordero boys out there. And pretty cool rigs but let me go ahead and put this on the truck and then we'll go across the street and check out that truck some more over there and there's that truck and just look at that toolbox man that looks good let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this toolbox right here I think it looks amazing it looks very very good and I think I'm going to get that light bar also from my cousin right now, now that I'm going to his shop. Go ahead and get that from him. I think it came out awesome. Right here he left this little opening where all the, the terminal lines for the batteries are going to go in, all of these. You put this little lip so water don't get in there. You still got to put the little ceiling rubber thing that goes around it so it doesn't cut the, the wires and if i'm not mistaken we're gonna put like a, another piece of sheet metal here to cover this this gap but we don't want to put it too close to the to the cap so i can have access to my fuel lines this is what the inside of it looks like here is the battery compartment and then obviously the storage over here and that's a lot of storage so i'm pretty happy with the size of it really really came out the way I wanted it I just got back from my cousin's yard and this is the light bar he had in the shop that I showed you on one of the previous videos so I went ahead and bought it so here it is this is the back piece that goes screwed on there and here's the bar itself here's the brackets for the mud flaps We got everything else here bolts and screws nuts washers but i'm gonna leave this here so the water can install it here's the bar guys man this thing looks good it looks very very good
like you guys saw I just finished installing that airbag and there it is Firestone airbags if you guys need any parts in the 290 area here in Houston I'm gonna leave my cousin's uh, truck parts store link in the description below check them out remember shop GR trucking get you your sweat rag because they come in handy believe me they do but I gotta clean up all of these tools unhook the truck go home and change and get that thing washed I made it to the blue beacon guys I'm gonna get washed I'm third in line and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the interior of my truck for the ones that don't know what it really looks like as you guys can see I have this Kenworth blanket right here and I have a long gray pillow right there back window the truck didn't have that window when I first got it I have some hats there some towels that's a new blanket I haven't used it I have little uh, chrome covers on the buns up here these interior panels they were different when I bought the truck but the guy I bought it from I told him I didn't like those I wanted the ones he had on another truck so he told me all right just swap them out if you want and I just paid the guys a couple bucks for doing that so we did that on this side I just have my paperwork, my permit, insurance card, all that, paper towels, uh, red LEDs, two lights right here. My AC is super, super cold. My AC works so good. All of these chrome little uh, hangers. I bought all of those also. As you guys can see, the Unibuilt. My Unibuilt piece. That's the dash of the truck. Here's the legacy low seat, the high top. Speakers, chrome covers, chrome here and there. CB radio, red light up there. Already has some cool new lights right there at the chrome stop. And they are, they're dual colors. They're watermelons, they're glass. So they look pretty nice. It has two functions. It has a regular white LED, it's a purple. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get rid of all these red lights. But overall, I mean, that's the interior of the truck. You got the shifter. You guys saw that video not too long ago. And I'm charging my uh, my drone batteries right now. I got the USA flags right here. As y'all can see, I got my excavator keys for all kinds of machines hanging right there. I got some more keys right here for the pony motor of the low boy. That's it. I mean, ain't really much else to show you guys from in here. I've got the chrome little button caps also over here. My five inch window chops, that bolt tie visor. But it's a good looking truck. I, I've been working on it slowly and I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made. But there's plenty of other things I still want to do to it. But I'm very, very happy the way it's been, it's been coming out. But let me know what you guys think about the interior. If it looks good. Looks all right. Got a couple of hats here. Caterpillar, the T800. This one will be coming out soon. But remember guys, link is in the description below. Shop GR Trucking. My buddy Troqueando Money from California. Got that one right here too. My limited edition T800 hat. For everybody that got it badass send me some pictures with it so i can put it on the video on a future video i gotta watch this one because i got some sweat right here got another cat man i always get my hat sweater and then they get a little dirty yellow cat hat chrome stop dumps around another heavy haul hat my dad got these made but yeah Just waiting for that truck to be finished and i'll be up next i told him i wanted my motor wash i wanted a uh, tire shine no brightener
There's a T-800 all washed up. Man, look at that setup. Big money right there. Four axles, two axle stinger. That's badass. Maybe one day. gonna go pick up the kids give them a ride on the truck I uh, haven't had the kids on the truck in a while in a long time actually but congrats to you Leo and your wife y'all are having a, a boy and everything came out great I think it came out awesome let me know in the comment section what you guys thought but yeah a lot of black smoke came out too so the the blue kind of got lost on there but you can still notice it and the shots came out good too I'm glad you liked everything Leo and once again congrats Thanks for having me and, and the pozole, the green pozole was good. That was very good, no lie. All right, guys, so I got the kids with me. We're gonna go for a quick ride. They haven't been in the truck in a while. This is Jaylen. Say hi, Jaylen. Hi, hi. This is Junior, Gerardo. Kaylin, say hi.
Jalen? No, yo no sé. Say something. Yo soy Biden. Pero tú tienes que picar aquí, mira, sí, y luego hablar. ¿Ok? Papá, ¿y no estoy? Estoy vino. Be quiet, guys. Say it again. Loud. Anybody copy me? Nope, there's nobody. It looks like there's nobody on CP right now. So, sorry. Next time, okay? Porque nadie está en el radio. Okay, bye. Say bye, guys. Say bye. Kayleen, say bye. for joining me on another one and i guess i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget link is in the description below copy your merchandise t100 you guys already know see ya